Ciao guys and welcome to Lampies. We are finally in 2021. This 2020 has come to an end. It was about time, huh? It was a rough year. It's about time. It's yes. Not really past year. <laughs> I mean, everybody was waiting. Oh, this yeah, year no must come to an end. Because uh, it was for most most people out there, also for us, in a minus way, it was a rough year and was... Uh, and still, I mean, I'm, I'm saying lockdown was there yesterday and today, still. Yeah, so I, I don't know, know but what? I think we can finally see the... Uh, people see at now at least the fact that there is a light at the end of the tunnel, the vaccine is out that there. That they don't want to take? Oh, baby, they are going to take it, trust me. If they want to work and continue living, they will take the vaccine. end of the year 2020 and you know we would like to say thank you thank you thank you yeah Mwah. thank oh. you so much grazie mille everybody has been supporting us especially this past year because before we did a lot of variation in content traveling going to namibia going to italy this year you have been there through all the time with us just trying to create everything from our living room or in the kitchen <laughs> and that's pretty much and you know i just appreciate their support because there's not so much you can do really as a creator in terms of okay i would go to malta or go to whatever to to etosha so we didn't have those opportunity and i appreciate I that mean, our supporters have been there also when we didn't have that yes and um, no because even though we didn't have the opportunity to do like major travel at least we had during the summer the opportunity to go visit our par my parents in italy and uh, we also had some minus trip to Larga uh, lago di garda garda lake and so on so i think we have like we had at least that opportunity and that that is already good that is true we had an opportunity to travel but i think i'm talking about in terms of content creation variation it's it's very minimal in comparison to how how much variation we had in our content before yeah i mean we were doing a lot of trips here to namibia we did a lot of village content that was nice but that is going to come again in the future and let's hope so so while we're here and you know I think we have never appreciated our followers enough. We are, I've seen in the past few months, especially now since we are in lockdown, I'm checking pretty much every single comment. We have so many followers from all over the world. I'm just so excited and I want to take an opportunity to say for those who are watching from Namibia, Tangi Unene, like in my mother tongue, that's how I would say thank you so much. Of course, everybody else. Thank you so much who is, you know, <laughs> watching the videos are always recorded in English. Everybody following us from Italy. I think there is a lady called Tina, always on our channel, adding a grazie mille. Grazie mille! I think it's a little American, uh, she's living in the USA. I don't know. Yeah, because she's always commenting. I think she's from USA, maybe she's Italo-American. This her name is, I, I just know she's Tina and is always Mm -hmm. writing something in Italian and for everybody watching us from South America mucho gracias I can speak a bit <laughs> of, I can speak a bit of Spanish do okay. not understand my language skills okay good mucho gracias no. mm -hmm. and then natürlich everybody watching us from home which is Germany Okay, and the people instead of watching from Korea? Oh, I need to learn that one. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much guys to support us and to support this channel and to make this channel possible, to be honest. That is true because they obviously it's, uh, you know, without the followers we wouldn't have a channel. Mm. Happy New Year, I hope you all made it well, safe and healthy and a shout out to everybody who spent holidays by themselves like us because you could mm. not travel to your parents you know during this time focus on what you think is important or what makes you happy within the comfort of your own home mm -hmm. try to find new hobbies like doing yoga at home i don't know cooking anything really just to keep yourself active while you're at home yeah and yeah we wish you a very productive 
health. I think, you know, in Germany, people always say, Gesundheit. Gesundheit. I think yeah. now more than ever. Blind and blind <laughs> Gesundheit. Blind Gesundheit. They're now going to use it like, who, who, over and over and yes, over. So just yes. stay healthy. Mask on all the time. Make sure the nose and the mouth are covered. Yeah, because <laughs> it's important. Not only here, but also up to here. If possible, a little bit up to here. Mm -hmm. For safety. Yeah, you know, we're expecting. Wow, um, wow. And who misses these traditional clothes? We're I think they are really comfortable, huh? Isn't it? For me, it's pretty much one of the very few things that I fit in now. Most of the things <laughs> I cannot fit in. But we were also talking about, um, we were looking at our channel a few days ago. We were like, oh my goodness, don't you just miss? Where the traditional clothes? Let's go get them from the Kela and let's switch <laughs> to the video with this. We just really miss that. And yeah, baby is growing Whoa, wow. and the tummy is, is growing initially i was the only one feeling the baby turning mm -hmm. and kicking but recently ali is like oh my god the baby is kicking this kicking i'm like yes it's kicking me all the time, the time. <laughs> yeah but now it's you can really feel it <laughs> like i always go there and say hello i'm yeah. your papa and then if the baby is moving or kicking it's like Oh baby, the baby is kicking. Like I should be. I mean, it's also like he. Oh, it's kicking really hard, so I can feel like he's moving and it's moving. The, the, also, the bumps on your tummy moves. It moves. It's it, it's a, a kind of strange it, feelings. I don't know. Is it a strange doing. or is it like a nice feeling? It is strange feeling to know that oh, you are growing a person in your tummy. Can you imagine in your womb? Yes, I can imagine. <laughs> no, it is an amazing gym, no, no. but how do you feel? Like, I just remember Ali was like, on my time, the baby is kicking, the baby is kicking. Mean, the, the, the first time I, 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 I had the, the experience and I put my hands on your tummy and I felt the baby moving, it was really, wow, I, I was speechless. Now, I said I, it's like part of the ritual every morning before, <laughs> before we wake up from the bed and go to the tummy, I talk to the baby. <laughs> And just say good morning, baby. How are you doing? Have you been sleeping good? Uh, don't don't make don't like uh, don't be too much for the, for the mama. Mama needs to rest. Uh, and I do the same times before we go to sleep. Yeah, I don't but know I if it does have any effect, but uh, we have read because we are reading a lot about uh, babies that it's good uh, for the father to talk. Uh, close to the tummy so that the baby can already register the fact that like remember my voice because at this stage the baby already have uh, uh, memories even if it stayed sealed in, inside the womb <laughs> inside the tummy yeah but i think now you do more like if you feel if, if ali is stressed right mm -hmm. it's coming to my tummy and say baby baby and if you, you get a kick you feel like it's responding. It's responding. <laughs> it's responding. No, it's also like uh, I mean, we are always at home. Like uh, I don't kiss you anymore on the cheek. I just come here. Let me kiss your tummy. That's <laughs> all. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's a for me. It's an emotional feeling. Of course, the baby is kicking all the time. Mm -hmm. And I think it made me more excited waiting for the baby and when the baby is kicking and moving and I feel that I, I have a little bit of uh, I'm sure the baby is doing all right. Yeah, the baby is fine, the baby is fine. The baby is fine. Sometimes though, it's not always always the best because sometimes the baby is overstimulated, I don't know by what. Then mm -hmm. we are going to bed and I want to sleep and the baby is like in the tummy that I'm like, okay. Hmm. Yeah, and also like I've noticed that there are like every two weeks you have like a couple of days when really you have problems because I think the baby development reached a certain point that doesn't have uh, space, space and then in the, the tummy is stretching and stretching. And, uh, yeah, exactly. So I, I, I have noticed that every two weeks roughly you have these moments like two days that you really kind of suffering or always always stress. And that then, is too tight. And then it's fine then. After that. Then I mean, after that it's just kicking. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. You know when I when we are in bed and I feel the baby is kicking, then I just start thinking about the baby. I just 
imagine how the baby is going to look like, uh, like if, oh she, if the baby is going to be to have my hair, your hair. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yes, the personality it's, of the baby, if it's, it's going, going to, to take from your style. character, if it's going to be more like me. What is going to be passionate about in life? Ooh. Ooh. Oh my, my thoughts are not even there. Oh yes, for me, yes, because, I don't know, I'm just thinking, is another person, there is a soul in your body that is growing, is going to be another person growing up with his own character, with his own things, I don't know. And also thinking about, I don't know, you know, the, am, am I going to be a good father? Am I going to be? What What should I teach the baby to the baby? Like, what are the values that I want to give to the baby? How to cook? Oh my God! That's how you survive here. You need to eat and make your own food. <laughs> teach the baby. No. I am saying teach. I hope be happy if the baby is cooking from five years already. Ah uh, yeah, uh, baby, can you please make pasta for me? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> you are a baby and okay. you are free. Underage uh, uh, labor. Oh. <laughs> Shut if you do not teach the baby how to do get things done from a young age. Yes, definitely I I do agree. I think our baby needs to to learn to do his uh, own house chore really from an early age, even though maybe they cooking. are cooking. No, cooking no, because no. you cannot teach uh, say to a five year old child to use the stoves, can you? Or do you no, want to be uh, uh, in the hospital or do you but then you can tell them why do every time I watch MasterChef the kids are I've been cooking since I was three I don't know how they get that done I don't know or well, they mean they've been mixing food yeah probably they've been <laughs> mixing, mixing food, food. <laughs> or with the assistance of their parents but it's not like uh, baby and busy please make dinner for everybody yeah please <laughs> <laughs> no, like that you have to be with the baby, with the with the child, assist them to prepare the thing. So we basically you are making the food uh, together with your child, which is an amazing experience that I would love to do. But it's not uh, there is a big difference. No, I'm say. not interested. I don't even like your food. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, guys, that was pretty much it from us today. Also, one important announcement I want to make is that moving forward, starting this year. We are going to start first with only two videos a week in comparison to last year when we did three videos a week. I think you've seen in the past few months towards the end of 2020 with a yeah. lot of work, with also a baby on the way. It has been difficult to keep up with the three videos. So we are going to start now with only two every Friday and every Sunday. Yeah, so we want to like reduce the amount of videos and numbers but also improve a little bit the quality i would say we are working on having uh, rebranding a little bit and also on having better lighting so better camera is coming better camera is coming yes do not make the same things you promise things you're not doing what when is the better camera coming I like, oh this camera has already been with us since three years so two years and a half yeah but you didn't tell me we are getting a new camera yeah, we're going to get a new camera come on it's when time. is that know, when now my push gift mm, oh is that a you no know, but i don't know when when it's coming don't you worry to take so care. i have something to do after this video i'll be checking for new cameras mm -hmm. oh i'm excited i didn't know this i'm excited okay good new camera is coming and see you in our next video ciao i have to go shop